So we're upgrading the windows on the Nobo. We are getting rid of that frosted glass that's really worthless and putting tinted glass with the shade that you can see out but not in very well. Um, we're losing our I Have Standard sticker <laughs> though, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, so we're using these Lippert st Thin Shades. I'll put a link below uh, to Amazon. Super easy installation once you figure it out. The instructions. We're not sponsored by Lippert. No, we're not sponsored by anybody. Well, we could be. <laughs> um, the garbage instructions, just throw those away because <laughs> they're not helpful. So to take out the window, it comes with these little clips and you insert these clips. And there's little holes, there's little slots. Yeah. They snap in just like that. All right. Next step is you just pull the frame from the inside out. So the window is stuck to the outside part. So in theory, yeah, this one came out a little easier. That's it. See the little um, little pins you stick in there? That's like a little one-way, almost like a, a lock, a zip tie lock. And then when you push that in there, it separates them. And that's how the window is attached to each other. They just kind of squeeze each other together. This is a lot better than cleaning a window. <laughs> oh. Does that one not want to come out? There it goes. The window is separating, so be careful. All right, window's out. Time to put the new one in. Okay, so to insert the shade into the frame, you take the frame that goes on the inside of the window, uh, the Nobo door, and take this, this, the shade, and make sure you have it turned the right way so that the lip of the shade is gonna be facing inside. And you just kind of set it in there, and then- You gotta line up these two notches. And then there's two little switches on the other side. That lock it into that place. That lock it into place. So you stick it into that slot. Make sure it's even. And then... That one's good. That's no, not. Oh yeah, it is. And then you just turn. Oh, something right. Did you already turn it on the other side? Mm -hmm. They should be left right if they're in the open position. Yep. Okay. And we're good. Did you already turn it? Yes. Okay. And then the bottom. The bottom the same way, except we just got to make sure that it's flipped or the right way. Yeah. And open. Open. All right. Switch. And let me see the switch. All you do is just turn those all the way around. It was definitely easier when he was holding it and I was doing those. Yep. Versus but two people is easier than one. Here it is. And then so now the shade is there. That's the inside. Oh, you don't want to pull it down now because we tried that in the last one. And this tricky. thing comes flopping out. So. Yeah. So now we'll install but the... It's a shade. It pulls down, goes yeah. up. So we put the glass side in first. So let's grab the glass. So right. those of you who are kind of technical... Uh, so here's how these things go together. Like I said, they're kind of like zip ties. They have directional little grooves right here and then they have directional little grooves inside here. And there's not a lot of weather stripping on there or anything. And they say that that's okay. So once you put it together, you squish it real hard and then the zip tie effect, it just kind of holds it together really, really tight. So I just wanted to show you that because even though I was looking at it, I didn't really understand how it worked until we got the other one together, so. So one tip that I found very helpful is Josh came up with is to tape, using Pater's tape, tape the frame from the outside, uh, just to kind of give it a little bit of extra stick while you're putting the glass in. So, good job. So that's that zip tie effect, it's the tightening. And you do wanna go around it a few times, like you hear those initial clicks, but as you can hear, it's still clicking. 
And then you want to go real hard to make sure it's clicked down as tight as possible. Might need it. another hand. Okay. Ready? Yep. There we go. Oh, oh going up. Yeah. All right, and that's it. So as you can see, you can see out really well. It's nice and clear, but when you close it from the outside, it's really dark. So you can't really see in. See, you can't see in but you can see out really well. And this guy just comes down like that. So you don't get the sunlight in the morning. And that's a wrap on that install.